there was a question at some point from a separate commissioner who said, if you got $294 million, where's it all going? Eyeing their priciest police budget yet, the Kansas City Police Board starts the discussion on money at the first meeting since Missouri voters approved Amendment 4. That vote clearing the way for a new state law boosting the budget to 25% of general revenues. Yeah, but that mandated percentage is typically lower than what Kansas City budgets for the police department. Fox 4's Jacob Gittlestad now joins us live from police headquarters. And Jake, it reignites the debate over local versus state control of the department. Well, that's right, Christelle. Amendment 4 passed with 63% of the vote, but that's statewide. Here in Kansas City, voters actually rejected it by 61%, all things that the Board of Police Commissioners may be thinking about as they look at this latest budget. We want them to understand that we can't have our officers out there with radios that may not work. A chunk of discussion focused on police radios, an upgrade that could cost around $2 million. It's a small fraction of the proposed $294 million budget, which is about $30 million more than last year's budget. It's also likely 27% of the city's general revenue, which is typical and also notable, as that's 2% higher than the new funding floor set by Missouri voters. You just heard a long board meeting discussion about do we have money in the initial 25% plus budget for radios and do we need to get money from somewhere else? And I think everybody in the state of Missouri would have thought that, heck, we just funded all of that. Where's all the other money going, right? Where's that sort of accountability? That's all that I think the people of Kansas City won't ultimately want. We put in the budget for the next fiscal year. The Board of Police Commissioners are governor appointees, plus a seat for Kansas City's mayor. The dynamic means communications on everything from budgets to the priorities within it go through an extra level of separation and bureaucracy. It also means the department is less prepared to address unexpected expenses. And it seems to me, too, what we're running into is legal agreements, settlements, that maybe we're not putting enough in the budget for that as well. Some of the cases that, that were three years ago are just now coming to fruition and they're getting pled out or whatever. Now, a continuing struggle for KCPD also is competing with suburban departments, which may have the ability to pay their officers more money. So that's another question from the mayor with a proposed police budget of nearly $300 million. Why are KCPD's wages not keeping pace? Jacob Kittlestead, Fox 4, working for you.